jump on here to do a very different video um, and this is a planning video so if you're into that if you are a bit of a nerd like myself sometimes you probably enjoy this one um, and this is a monthly budget for the month of May I've never done one of these before so I thought it'd be very good to look at it from a full months perspective rather than just doing a weekly budget that I tend to do here I, and there's nothing wrong with that these are great I love doing my weekly ones and I will still continue to do my weekly ones I still have to do it for this week um, and what I want to do is use my monthly budget to look at what am I targeting towards when I'm doing my weekly one so However, this monthly one I have not done as a paper format like this. I've done it as an Excel. So what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to jump over to the Excel spreadsheet so that I could explain how my month's breakdown has, I guess, worked out. Um, I should have started with this. Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm a cash-based um, budgeter. I live in Western Australia and I'm a wife and a mother to a one-year-old son and this is my journey to financial stability and freedom. I I have a goal for the year of 2022 and that is to get to 22,000 and that is through different various ways of doing it and that is a doing a cash system. I collect all the change. Um, I just did a TikTok video um, and I just added $43 just in rollover change for this week. So it does add up. I do I have saving challenges and of course sinking funds to get to my goal. So without further ado, I'm going to go on to the Excel spreadsheet to explain my budget. All right, everyone. So this is my, I guess, monthly breakdown. This is the first time I'm doing a month breakdown. I thought I'd try it in Excel first, then trying different. I knew, luckily I did it in Excel because I, oh, the amount of times I chopped and changed this. And I couldn't make it into balance. I don't know why. I think I'm better when I do it weekly um, as opposed to monthly. But I also understand the need to understand it monthly as well so that you hold yourself accountable and you if you can surprise yourself great but at least the weekly is to make sure that you've accounted for the unexpected but the monthly is that you account for everything you know is going to happen for the month of may so and i think that's very important i i for all those youtubers and um cash stuffers that do this you know hats out to you guys this took me a while and that is why i'm sharing it because this is not easy those who do this monthly wow hats off to you guys in regards to income i've blacked it out for now but i i need to give myself a pack of, pat on the back i've had a bit of a pay rise um, and apparently it will become effective as of may which I am so ecstatic for because I have been with this company for a very long time and never had a raise. So the fact that I'm getting one is amazing. I'm truly gobsmacked. However, I just did an online calculator as to how much I would owe in daycare fees. And that has bumped it up significantly as to what my weekly expenditure would be in just bills um, and I can understand why more and more women are more likely to stay home to take care of the kids than go back to work I get it I totally get it now because whatever I am gaining as in a raise in my income unfortunately I'm losing it as daycare fees but it is what it is at least uh, if I know that I can meet the daycare fees 
I am going to be able to put my son to private school if that's what I want. I don't know. Um, he's still only one years old. I haven't thought that far ahead, but at least I know if I can afford daycare fees, I can afford private school. But that's, I guess, going out a bit off topic a bit. But I do know that I'm going to have another Reggio bill coming through for the month of May, and that's for my husband's car. We're not sure if we're keeping that car or not. Um, it is an old car. So we're just going to do three months Reggio for now and then see where we are financially and then decide what we're going to do. Um, your girl got a speeding fine. It hasn't come through the mail yet, but I was trying to get to work. I was getting delayed and so I thought ah, I okay here's the thing I did not think I just was not thinking I sped and your girl got flashed so <laughs> I know that's coming I I think it's going to be about the 200 mark luckily I did not speed during the long weekend so it's not double demerit points but I need to budget for that for the month of May so that when it does come through um, I have the money sitting and I'm not stressing about it. Where am I going to pull it out from? Uh, I've got some big um, expenditures to happen in my variable expenses. So groceries and fuel, I've left it as I normally would. And that way I can then budget for it for the month. But then if I have to decrease it in my weekly budgeting, then I could do that. Splash cash, that's my and my husband's, um, which Mother's Day, that's a extra one for May, which we shouldn't have every month, so that's there. The other one that is going to be big is the birthdays. I have a few birthdays, and unfortunately, all the birthdays that are coming up in May are important birthdays, so we're going to have to spend a little money, and my gifts um sinking fund is only sitting i believe at 15 dollars, so it's nowhere near enough so i'm gonna have to put that um so that can go straight into my sinking fund when i pull it out um but i just have to make sure that it's more um for that month and my husband wants to really bump up his training um, at the gym so on top of his normal supplements he's going to want some more stuff so that's why that's there um, if anyone is wondering how I came to the reoccurring bills total I, um, I literally just did a I guess a table of all the bills and the dates um, they're coming out on um, I categorized it obviously um, between insurance, debt, the kid which is the daycare fees, giving, debt, membership, utilities, subscription. Uh, what else? Any other? No, there's no other. But those are my reoccurring bills. And daycare is the one that is really um, hurting us this time around. So that's why, uh, that's why it's so high. So based on what I think I'm getting. So I don't know the exact figure for my pay raise, guys. I really don't. I need to work it out with HR. So I've been very conservative in what I've put there. So based on what I think, um, uh, from a savings point of view, I'm not going to be able to put much because I really want to put a bit into um, sinking funds. Uh, because it's important to make sure you have your sinking funds also being taken care of. There's no point putting money in constantly in savings and then you're stressing about how you're going to pay for these things that come up. So like gifts, you know, I only have $15 in there. That's why I'm having to budget for extra gifts in my variables. It's just one of those things, but I want to start. I've got a target, so that's why I put a target over here. I'm thinking of creating, um, getting Oh, so I've got a voucher thanks to the Ashley Marie budgets. So I might buy some saving challenges for the bigger uh, targets, uh, which are more your annual ones. 
And the, these ones, of course, I the rolling sinking funds. So I really want to work on them. I've got a target, so I need to work. So I've put more money towards sinking funds than I've done in savings. If my income turns out to be more than what I think, or if my husband gets any money through his side hustle, which will be really, really handy, then we can look at bumping up the savings and the sinking funds and see how we go. Um, so the month of May, from a month's perspective, we're not going to be putting much in savings, which is fine. It's about the long haul. It's not about the instant gains. Um, one of the things that will be taking a hit in the month of May is my bills buffer, because right now I don't know how to put extra money towards the bills account. So as you know, for one of my goals for the month, I guess for this quarter, so by the end of June, I want to be able to have one month worth of uh, bills built up in my bills account, which will take care of the reoccurring bills for one month at least. I don't know what I'm going to do there, so I might be conservative as well in my weekly budgeting um, in that regard. So there you have it. It's still a zero-based budget, um, so I did get to my zero right there so i it's important that i get keep my zero base budget also in my monthly and as i i'll probably do maybe fortnightly check-in so or a bi-weekly check-in to actually put in my actuals so that we can see how the breakdown is happening so right now fixed expenses and variable expenses are the biggest chunk of my income disbursement uh i have done this but i think this is too much you know it, budgets are meant to be simple um easy to follow something that you will find joy in doing it this i did not find joy i i'll be very honest i did not enjoy it it took me really long time but maybe now that the template is created i could then keep working on it but most of my like insurance um utilities subscription daycare fees giving um debt other variable expenses groceries transport most of these are very fixed the only things that will probably change is the variables transport from from fuel perspective and then of course your savings and sinking funds so i don't know if i'll be using this particular page at this stage of my budget but this is something i guess this will be the dashboard that i will work most out of and then of course i have my calendar overview which i Again, not too sure if I'll use it. Um, I've put in here when I expect to get the pay and what bills are coming out for that month. So I'll see how I go, guys. I am not, not holding my breath. If this is something I want to continue, I'll probably work the dashboard more um, and we'll take it from there. I hope you guys liked this style of video. There's no money to change out in here, so it wasn't that exciting. Um, as from a cash stuffer's point of view, you know, you want to see the money. Um, but I'm one of those people, I need to know how I am planning. So that way, when I am working with the money, it I have a plan in place. I know what I'm working to. And now I'm holding myself accountable to another level. So let's see how this goes. You know, you have to try different things to see if it will work for you. And I am really committed to my goal of getting that 22,000 by the end of this year. And if this means I have to add an extra step of making sure every dollar is accounted for, then that's what I'm going to do, guys. Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to go into my outro and stop this recording for now. So do take it easy. All right, everyone, now we've come to the end of my monthly budget for the month of may i hope you know you stuck around i know it was a long video i guess in some essence it was kind of boring but that's fine this is just my journey and just using this platform to document it and it's just to see if this works for me and keeps me accountable um, if you did make it to the end of the video, please give me a love heart um, in the comments would love to connect with you guys That's my little one-year-old playing with my husband's guitar in the background um, But wherever you are Stay safe be blessed 
and try and find your little joy and peace with whatever you do out there. Bye guys. Thank you.